So how do you make a delicious minestrone soup? Joining us, it's six-time Emmy-nominated Chef Plum. Woo! Woo! So I'm going to get my pan hot here. So we're going to make the soup right here. Celery, onions, and carrots. In the chef world, that's called mirepoix. Oh. All right? You can see oh. it's nice and... Yeah, just getting the camera there. Nice and sauteed that up. What's that going to do is going to get nice and brown. So what we do with this, as it starts to get cooked off and soften up, we're going to make something called a pinsage. And okay. what it means is you're adding basically adding tomato to your, your uh, mirepoix. So you can use fresh garlic here. I'm going to use a little sprinkle of garlic powder right there. Then I'm going to add in... I've got some... Uh, Kidney beans here. I'm going to pop those in there. Wow. I've got some cannellini beans, some white beans right here. You could add a bunch of fresh herbs to keep it simple for home cooks. I've got an Italian herb blend. We're going to add a little chicken stock or, excuse me, veggie stock here if you like. I have vegetable stock, which is what we're going to use. And I'm going to bring this to a boil is the idea. We're going to bring this right to a boil uh, because we're going to add a little bit of, when it comes to that boil, we're going to add some spinach to it. Just a handful of spinach right in there. And then I'm going to add... A handful of cooked pasta. Bring this to a boil, and what happens is you get this beautiful soup. That's it's maybe the best minestrone I've ever had. It's really delicious. Not bad, right? No, I mean, yeah, you could eat this all the time, and it's it's healthy, and it's got all the good stuff in there.